Hey, good morning world. It's your girl Kat from the Kitty Rose Lifestyle. You already know. And this is our first edition of this week's morning coffee. My goal is to do three morning coffees a week. Mondays, uh, Thursdays, and Fridays. I think that was the schedule I set up, but I'm not sure. But here we go. Monday, brand new, fresh start of the week. And I had the spirit come upon me. And I've actually been thinking about what I wanted to share with you guys since Friday. Um, but with everything that's been going on this weekend, just didn't get a chance to share it with you. But was inspired to share it with you this morning in regards to content creators. Um, and content creators of color. In particular, blacks and Latin folks of color. Particularly, you know, obviously black folks. Because that is what I'm drawn to. Um, recently, as some of you may know, if you're following me on social media, in the last two weeks, I have hired um, three creators, three content creators from Fiverr. Fiverr, F I V E R R. Now, in 2018, 2018 or 2017, when I met Red Chocolate, Red Chocolate was a con is a constant content creator. And him knowing that I edit and filmed, he suggested that I go on to Fiverr and list my, um, you know, my specialties. When I went on Fiverr, I saw a bunch of artists that was doing the same thing I was doing, but they were charging $40, $30, $50. So I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to because to edit, at minimum, my friends for hookup is like $300, but regular general public, my minimum is $1,200 to edit. So I didn't feel like Fiverr was a good platform for me because I didn't want to undersell myself. Especially because when I first got into editing and shooting, I was doing like $75 gigs and $150 gigs. And I was told by the community that that was wrong and that was shortchanging other creators when it came to getting gigs. Now, mind you, everyone who told me this was my color. Um, that's too low. Don't do it. Get out of here. So I stopped. I stopped doing those prices. But in the last three weeks, I've hired three content creators who have done the work in the time that they allotted or said that they would. No more than two to three days. One person charged me $30 for a project. Another person charged me $40 for a project. And now the third person is charging me $200 for a project. What my concern is or what my issue is, is out of the three creators, one of them was black. When I went to the search and looked up what I was looking for, because you can put and at Fiverr, you can go to the site and put what you're looking for. So let's say I'm looking for uh, an editor. I can put what I'm looking for. I can look for the price point that I want to pay. I can look for what I can search for what country I want them to come out of and I can search for how well or how successful they are on this platform. So I have you have your top sellers, you have your number 2 sellers, etc etc. Et so when I did the search and put all of the requirements I wanted in the search probably came up like maybe I'm going to say 12 artists. Out of the 12 artists, one was an artist that was black. The majority of the artists were Indian, Middle Eastern, Pakistan, from Pakistan. Now, I ain't mad at nobody getting their money. But what I wanted to suggest to my creators who are black and Spanish, that this is an opportunity, especially during COVID, to get out of our own way when it comes to price point and list ourselves on Fiverr. Not me, because I'm no longer editing or filming. However, I know so many creators that are home waiting for that $300, $1,200, $1,500, $3,000 gig. And because of COVID and the variant and all these things that's going on, 
work might not be as steady. So I'm assuming that these guys or these artists or creators on Fiverr, you know, that are doing $40, $30 gigs, their turnaround is probably so fast that they can afford to do that because the one guy, the one editor, the one black guy... <laughs> told me that he couldn't even do all the work I needed him to do. He was like, I'm too busy. You need too much. I can't do it for you. And I respected that so much that I wanted him to work for me that I was like, okay, well, what can you do? And he was like, well, I got time to do this for you and, and I can do this and it's going to cost X, Y, and Z. And he did it. Boom, bang, done. Where I will now hire him again and again and refer him as I just did last week. So the point I'm making to all creators that are this color, yo, son, we are missing out on some money. If you are not connected to Fiverr already, then you should. My editors, my graphic artists, my film people like everybody who is home that can work off of their computer you need to go and sign up as a fiverr um creator and get this money because it was disappointing to me it was happy that i was able to get the work done but it was disappointing to me that there wasn't enough of me to choose from and even though the two people i hired that were in black are people still of color so I don't mind supporting that. Ultimately, I would like to support my own culture in the arts. I am big on supporting businesses. I am big on supporting my own businesses. So I want to support businesses that look like me. But we have to get out of our own way and say, I'm not going to do that price. Because I'm sure that $40, the way he probably gets gigs adds up to what I'm waiting for for my 1200 You know what I'm saying? And he did my joint in three, two days. Two days, four edits, $40, boom, bang, product done exactly the way I wanted it. Because I think when you're clear as a creator what you're able to do and what you're not going to do, then for the client, it makes it easier to request and understand what they want. So if you are a clear cut creator and was like, yo, this is my price. This is what, I, what this is what I'm going to do. This is how fast I'm going to do it. This is what I can do. This is what I can't do. Then why not list yourself on Fiverr and get the coins that reach into dollars? <laughs> so my last point before I go is this video is not sponsored by Fiverr. But my goal is. And I'm, I'm going to pretty much guarantee because of the power of manifestation that in six months, in less than six months, I will be doing videos sponsored by Fiverr. Because I am using Fiverr creators, I am promoting the Fiverr platform, and I am putting Fiverr in all of my descriptions on my YouTube videos. Why? Why? Because I too am a content creator, but I'm learning to adapt to the things I want in order for me to receive those things. I have to kind of give the audience what they need. And my audience at the moment is the Fiverr Corporation so that they can sponsor or underwrite the Kitty Rose lifestyle and our morning coffees. So please... Continue to join me in this journey because this journey that I'm on is our journey because I am you. And that's it. You know what to do. After you see this video, press the red button and subscribe. I hate that spiel, but I guess I got to do what I got to do. So subscribe, share, follow, and share some comments. Are you using Fiverr? Are you on Fiverr? Is there another platform we can use to get content creators at a reasonable, affordable price? Let me know. Let us know. We are here in the village to communicate, encourage, and build each other up. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe and follow my journey. It's your girl Kat from the Kitty Road Lifestyle. I love you all. The revolution has begun. Peace.